last week I did have a call with with the uh, director of the Department of Education and one of her her um, bureau chiefs and one of their attorneys to determine what sort of flexibility we might have in in meeting these new requirements given that we were you know for good reason out of the gate early thinking that we were fully compliant and that at, at the time that I had the conversation um, nearly two-thirds of our students had registered and I was given um, no no help in that regard um, as much as flexibility has been emphasized by the department and the governor's office in regards to return to learn it it certainly does not feel that way to to me and to my team then yesterday um, which for those keeping track was the second to the last day of july um, we got further guidance from the governor uh, and the Department of Ed, um, especially around what what metrics they would use to um, to allow a school to move to a a virtual um, mode of instruction. Um, and the, the the two issues that I have with that are number one. It appears as though they're not willing to to grant uh, fully virtual for more than a two week period of time for those students who are who would otherwise be in a hybrid. And the other is just what appears from my perspective to be um, very arbitrary um, guidance relative to what at least the the health experts that I've been following would recommend for a safe return to in-person learning. Um, so those are the the, the two big ones. I, I want to tell you that we we have have been trying to under under promise and over deliver with the idea that once we get the year started, we're actively looking for ways to increase in-person instruction. But th this is a new way, mode of operation. We're a large system. We want to make sure that, it, that at, at minimum, we're doing a very high quality job with what with the plans that we've that we've presented to our community. And once registration is fully complete, and staffing decisions, you know, staffing placements are complete, we can get the year underway, and then we will continue to reevaluate both the conditions of the pandemic, but also capacity within the system once all of those multiple dominoes fall, and, and look for ways to continue to provide as much in-person instruction as possible, knowing that conditions are going to be fluid throughout this year, 